brought to you by Chesterfield. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because it's more perfectly packed thanks to Accuray. They satisfy the most. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Hello, Kitty. You look a little blue. Oh, it's cold outside. Well, you sit down. Yeah. I'll have Sam fix you up a coffee grub. That'll warm you. Why do you think I came in? Well, you sure know the way to compliment a lady. <laughs> Maybe I ought to. Just... What do you think you're doing? Oh, Matt, look. He's been spoiling for trouble ever since he came in here. That's no, Murdoch, question, huh? mister. Do you know him? No, I... Yeah. Well, answer. Nothing. You don't need the whole bar. What did you say? I got as much right here as you. Is that so? Man, he's got a knife. Uh, wait a minute. Murdoch. Put it up. You again, Dylan. Just like the last time. You want more of the same? It's a little different now, Murdoch. So I see. You got a badge to hide behind me. Put up the knife. That's better. This man's crazy, Marshal. I didn't do a thing to him. I didn't mean to jostle him. It's all right, son. It's over now. Go on about your business. Yes, sir, Marshal. Yes, sir. Yeah. What kind of a bone picker is that for the high plains? Times have changed, Murdoch. Nothing but settlers and dudes, bone pickers and trackmen, cow wranglers and blue coats, and lawmen. There's something you better understand, Murdoch. Hmm? When Dodge was full of you buffalo hunters, you could throw your weight around. Well, not anymore. I ain't changed, Dylan. Just stay out of trouble. I'll do as I want. He always did. What are you doing in Dodge anyway? There haven't been any buffalo around here for years. Well, maybe I came to see you, Dylan. And I thought you probably figured me for dead. Oh, no. I heard about you and your badge. Maybe it's just as well for both of us. I'm wearing it. I don't fear no man. And least of all, you. All right. Just let me give you a little warning. If you're thinking of going south for Buffalo into Indian Territory, I wouldn't. I do a lot of things you wouldn't. This is orders from Washington. They don't want any more trouble with the Indians. The territory is closed to hunters. They got cavalry patrols along the line. I go where I aim to go. And I don't fear no cavalry. And I got orders to stop anyone. <laughs> Have you now? You just remember what I said. Matt, he's dangerous. There's a crazy look in his eyes. You know, Kitty, when the buffalo herds were running... Dodge was 2,000 like him, and not much else. Well, who is he? Uh, he's the one the Indians call Long Arm. His name's Jace Murdoch. Oh, I've heard of him. Yeah. Almost a legend on the frontier. Been on the plains maybe 30 or more years. Beaver trapper, buffalo hunter, Indian scout. He lived with the Indians a long time. 
Matt, what's between you and Murdoch? A grudge? Uh, it's the kind of a thing a man doesn't like to talk about or remember, Kitty. When he takes a beating. You? Yeah, I was just in from Missouri. Pretty green. Murdoch and some of his crowd were in town on a spree. But when their fun threatened to include scalping a hide freighter they didn't like, I stepped into it. Like I say, I was pretty green. They beat you, Matt? Left me for dead down by the river. You watch out for him. He's a troublemaker. Yeah. But right now, I want to find out why he's here. Introducing one of the country's best-known jazz musicians and arrangers, Mr. Bobby Haggard. How about whistling along with him? Packs more pleasure, packs more pleasure. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. The more perfectly packed your cigarette, the more taste and mildness are released for you. Chesterfield, made by exclusive Accuray, has an open, easy draw that unlocks all the pleasure of fine tobaccos. Now, Accuray ensures an even distribution of tobacco from one end of your Chesterfield to the other. Chesterfield is firm and pleasing to the lips, mild, yet deeply satisfying. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. To the touch, to the taste, Chesterfield packs more pleasure because it's more perfectly packed by Chesterfield. Mild, yet they satisfy the most. <laughs> I figured Murdoch was in Dodge outfitting a hunt, so I found the merchant who sold him supplies. He couldn't tell me much, except that Murdoch had an Indian with him for a skinner, and that they were camped somewhere outside town. It took me a while, but I found the camp. And when I came up, the Indian was alone. He was a young brave, and he was hunched over the fire, sharpening a long, curved skinning knife. It's all right. Go on. You're a long way from home, aren't you? What are you, Blackfoot? How do you know that? Ah, the scars on your wrists. The cut arms. Your people do that in mourning some close relative's death, don't they? No. Who are those for? Father, brother, mother. All right. My name's Matt Dillon. I'm a U.S. Marshal. How are you called? Oh, what does Murdoch call you? When he is not angry, injured. And when he is? Dog eater. Ah. And he knows his Indian insults. What do your people call you? It means golden calf. Now, you're a breed, aren't you? I'm an Indian. Well, then what are you doing here so far from your tribe, skinning buffalo for a man like Murdoch? In the lodges at night, my people speak of the pale warrior with the long arm. Chase Murdoch, huh? When he was with us, his medicine was good. The plains were dark with buffalo. They gave the Indian all he needed. Food, clothes, beds, lodge skins. Now we do not have good medicine. The buffalo are gone. So you came looking for Murdoch, for Long Arm, to take him back? Yes. But he would not go, so I stay with him. 
And now you're going on a buffalo hunt with him into treaty territory, huh? He does not tell me where he goes. But I'll tell you. He's going to hunt among the few small herds that are left, given by the treaty to the Indian. I do not know that. Well, it's true. And if you do this, you're robbing your brothers of the little that's left to them. That's enough, Dylan. Uh, hello, Murdoch. Stand up, dog eater. Don't hit him again, Murdoch. I'll do as I please. You've got no right to come snooping, Dylan. Asking questions, trying to turn my skin against me. And the way you treat him, you'll turn him against yourself. And he may not be so friendly once you two are alone down in the Indian nations. I don't fear no Indian. Least of all him. I know him. Lived with him plenty of years. So I heard. They thought you were good medicine then, huh? Sure. I brought him the long arm. The first gun they ever seen. Gave him more meat than they ever seen, too. Sure, I was good medicine. Yeah, but you've changed some. <laughs> I'm not so romantic as I was. I can take them or leave them alone. Besides, Injun's Day is done. A man don't need to walk easy with them no more. I wouldn't be too sure of that. Hmm. With this, I can be sure. Well, you still shoot a big 50, huh? Yeah. And I can load and fire as fast as another man with one of them new repeaters. And I can drop a buffalo near a mile. Or a man. Hey, killed an Indian once at 1,200 yards. Like to took off his head. You enjoy killing, don't you, Murdoch? Oh, I don't mind it. You know, 30 years on the plains have done something to you. Something crazy. Maybe you were a pioneer once, opening up the West, a loner doing what you had to do, making your own law. But your day's finished, Murdoch. You have to abide by the law now. Are you through, Dylan? I see by your outfit you're going light and fast. That must mean south. Well, I'm warning you, don't try it. I'll go where I aim to go. No cavalry will stop me. And I just hope you try all right, if that's the way you want it. You cross that line and I'll come after you. Say, where are you listening to Gunsmoke? In your car? Getting ready for dinner? Oh, I see. Just relaxing in your favorite easy chair. I'd say you're in a good spot right now to really enjoy Chesterfield's better taste and mildness. You see, Chesterfield packs more pleasure because it's more perfectly packed. A more perfectly packed cigarette gives you an open, easy draw that unlocks all the better taste and mildness of fine tobaccos. And Chesterfield, made by exclusive Accuray, is more perfectly packed, with an even distribution of tobacco from one end of your Chesterfield to the other. Firm and pleasing to the lips, mild, yet deeply satisfying. Remember, to the touch, to the taste. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. By Chesterfield, mild, yet they satisfy the most. <laughs> I could have sent word to the colonel out at Fort Dodge and let the cavalry handle Murdoch. But this was something personal. It was a job I wanted to do myself. I couldn't touch Murdoch until he crossed the line into the Indian nation, so the next morning I just watched him drive out of town. I gave him a couple of hours, and then Chester and I started on his trail. Went straight south, across the Arkansas, into the nation's. Oh, 
don't know, Mr. Dillon. It seems almost too easy. His wagon tracks in the snow going straight as a board as far as you can see over the next rise. Yeah, I know, Chester. But we better keep our eyes open. We should be getting close to him now. Well, I guess ain't nothing to worry about as long as we can see his tracks up ahead. Yeah, maybe not. But we'll come up on that rise easy. Just might be waiting for us on the other side. Well, I don't know. The way he ain't bothering to cover his trail, it seems like he ain't expecting us to follow him. Maybe he didn't believe you. I don't count on it. No, I... I swear this ain't the time of year for traveling, is it? Good time for buffalo hunting, though. Coats will be prime. And if I was... Mr. Dillon! Chester, you hit? No, sir. He, he didn't get me. He got my horse, but I'm pinned down. All right, I'll get you out. Hey, Mr. Dillon, look out. He's still shooting. All right, just stay flat behind a horse. Now, you pull your leg out when I lift up on the saddle, huh? Yes, sir, I will. Oh. There. Now, stay low. Mr. Dillon, where'd that shot come from? Well, I'm not sure, but I... Yeah. From over in that rim of rock there. You must have circled around. Yeah, we rode right into a trap. How's your leg? Well, it ain't broke, I don't think. But it hurts some, all right. Oh, I'm afraid I ain't going to be much use to you, Mr. Dillon. Yeah, don't worry about it, Chester. But what are we going to do? We can't just lay here in the snow. We'll freeze. That's probably what Murdoch's thinking. He sure planned it, and he's got us pinned out here in the open. No cover anywhere is near. <clears throat> Mr. Dillon, my rifle's under the horse. Maybe we could... No, it wouldn't do any good anyway, Chester. It's too far. Only his buffalo gun has this range. Yes, sir. I guess... <laughs> Where is it? Now he shot your horse, Mr. Dillon. There was no need for that. Yeah. He's showing us how great a hunter he is, Chester. What are we going to do without horses? Well, we'll worry about that later. Right now, there's one thing we can do. Get up to those rocks and rush him. Yeah, but how? Well, his big 50's a single shot. He's got to reload between shots. He's doing it mighty fast. Yeah, but while he is, I could be moving. Oh, Mr. Dillon, you wouldn't never make it. Why, that's 500 yards or more. Now, you got any other ideas, Chester? No, sir, I ain't bound. Man, darn this leg. It's all right, Chester. This isn't your fight anyway. Well, I think I'll draw a shot and see just how fast he can reload. No, no, Mr. Dillon. One... Two, You're taking awful three, chance standing up like that, four, Mr. Dillon. Five, no. All right. Now we know. Five seconds. That ain't very long. Now that'll have to be long enough. How, oh, Chester? Yes, sir. Good luck, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. Same to you, Chester. Hey, Murdoch! One, two, three, four, five. It's not like hunting buffalo, is it, Murdoch? One, two, three, four, five. Getting closer, Murdoch! One, two, three, four, five. Well, maybe he's caught on. Hey, Murdoch! You couldn't be out of ammunition, could you? lay there half covered by the snow, no and Murdoch might easily be holding me in the sights of his rifle. But I also knew I couldn't lie there much longer. I'd freeze before darkness could give me the cover I needed. Then I saw movement among the rocks. It was Golden Calf. He walked to the rim, 
then started down toward me. The body of Jace Murdoch, lifeless in his arms. I got up and went to meet him. And as I approached, Golden Calf stopped, and after a moment he placed the body gently on the ground. Why did you do it, Golden Calf? I know now you spoke the truth. His medicine was not good. Not anymore. Is that the only reason you killed him? Here? Now? All right, thanks, anyway. I'm going to have to take you back. But nobody will convict you for saving the life of a U.S. Marshal. Well, we're going to have to bury him. Yes. Here, wait a minute. Let me see your wrist. That's a new gash. Was Murdoch a relative of yours? He was my father. I am Golden Calf, the son of Long Arm. Oh. Well, all right, Golden Calf. Let's get started. With our star, William Conrad. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. Chesterfield, made by exclusive Accuray, packs more pleasure because it's more perfectly packed, unlocks all the pleasure of fine tobaccos. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. Firm and pleasing to the lips. Chesterfield, mild, yet they satisfy the most. You know, the arrival of a Texas herd and dodge usually meant celebrating and the general hurrahing of the town. But next week, a herd arrives with a murdered man. And that was the West. Good night. Gunsmoke. Produced and directed by Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The special music for Gunsmoke was composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Hanley and Bill James. Featured in the cast were Nestor Piva, Sam Edwards, and Harry Bartell. Harley Bear is Chester, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Smokers, this is it. L and M filtered. So good to your taste, so quick on the draw. Make today your big red letter day, your L and M red letter day. Superior taste and filter, it's the miracle tip. Make today your big red letter day, change to L and M today. L and M, mmm, so good to your taste. So quick on the draw. Get L and M today. Relax with L and M. So good to your taste, so quick on the draw. Join us again next week for another specially transcribed story on Gunsmoke.